last Sunday after the Epiphany. Year C. From the second letter to the Corinthians. A veil lies over their minds, but when one turns to the Lord, the veil is removed. In the name of that same Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. When Paul says to the Corinthians that a veil lies over our minds whenever Moses is read, he's not saying that the reading of Moses draws that veil across our minds, but rather that we start with the veil already in place, hiding from view all our personal shame and fear, that vulnerability we have good reason to hide from the view of the world. As a result, the reading of Moses, which ought to pierce us to the heart, instead bounces off of us, projecting visions of the law that tend to draw attention away from our own sore spots, particularly of our vulnerability and mortality. In the shining of Moses' face, the people are seeing his willingness to risk punishment and death by facing God because of his love of God and his love of them. So also does the face of Jesus shine as he consults with Moses and Elijah about his departure, which Jesus was about to accomplish at Jerusalem. As we begin the season of Lent this week, the spiritual disciplines that are best for each of us will be those that counteract our preferred methods for distracting ourselves from our vulnerability and mortality and from the ways in which we wish that God had created us other than what we are and who we are. Sometimes we forget that in baptism we have already renounced the shameful things that one hides. We forget that we are therefore no longer subject to the accuser who would seize us and maul us with self-loathing. Let us therefore be mindful and let go of the cunning and falsehood with which we so often seek to evade that accuser. Let us seek instead to embrace the God who has chosen to embrace us, and by the open statement of the truth, commend ourselves to the conscience of everyone in the sight of God. That truth is that when we muster the courage to look long and hard at our own unveiled faces, what we see is the glory of the Lord as though reflected in a mirror. For through the mercy of that same Lord, who, after all, created this world and declared it good, each of us is, in our own way, being transformed into that same image, from one degree of glory to another. In the name of that same Lord, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever.